Hi, my name's Andy Sykes. I'm an illustrator and animator, and I teach animation at universities here in the UK. Why not check out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find animation and illustration by me, as well as more lessons in Flash and After Effects. Cheers. Hi, and welcome to my lesson on easing in After Effects. Now, if you've checked out my introduction to After Effects tutorial, you'll have learned how to move the position of a layer in After Effects. Now that's what we call spatial animation. That's something, that's an element, that's a footage element moving through space. But we've also got to think about how our elements move through time. Do they move at a uniform speed? Do they speed up? Do they slow down? Do they do both? Easing is a way of easily controlling the temporal or time interpolation of a footage element. So basically, easing controls how fast or slow something goes from point A to point B. So here we've got a fish. The spatial interpolation is from left to right. So the fish is moving from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. And the temporal interpolation, that's the time, is linear. So that means that it's moving at a uniform speed from point A to point B. It doesn't speed up, it doesn't slow down. So let's take a look. I'm going to press zero on the numeric keypad to do a RAM preview. And you can see the fish is just moving at a uniform speed from left to right. If we click on the fish, we can see the motion path. And all of these dots along this line are a uniform space apart from each other. So that's After Effects way of visually communicating the temporal interpolation. All of the dots are the same space apart, which must mean that a fish is moving at the same speed all the way through. So how do we go about changing that? Well, we can use something called easing. Any keyframe that you make in After Effects, you can apply easing to. So if I click on this keyframe here, for example, and then do a right click, I can go down to the bottom and go to Keyframe Assistant and choose one of the easing options. There's Easy Ease, Easy Ease In and Easy Ease Out. And we're going to take a look at what they look like. So my first example here, we used Ease In. It's exactly the same fish animation, but you can see we applied an Ease In to the second keyframe where our fish is on the right hand side of the screen. What Ease In does is it slows your animation down. So if you apply an Ease In to your second keyframe, it'll ease into it. So it'll gradually slow down as it gets into that keyframe. So it's easing in to that second keyframe. Let's take a look. So I've just hit zero. You can see that the fish grinds to a halt. It slows down as it moves from left to right. So the spatial interpolation is still exactly the same. It's moving from left to right, but the temporal interpolation is slowing down. So let's click on our fish, and you can see that on our motion path, the dots gradually get closer and closer together as we move towards the end of our animation. So it's pushing those dots closer together, which means that there's less space in between each frame, which makes it display much more slowly. So that's an ease in. So you apply an ease in to the second keyframe in an animation, and it slows the animation down. Let's take a look at easing out. You want to apply an ease out to the first keyframe in an animation. And when you ease out of a keyframe, you gradually speed up as you move along. So this fish, if we press zero, gradually speeds up as it moves along. So you can see it's kind of taken off and speeding up. So when you ease out of your first keyframe, you're speeding up your animation as it moves into the second keyframe. Let's take a look at an easy ease. So an easy ease both speeds up and slows down your animation. And you apply it to both keyframes. So you'd select both by clicking on the first and holding down shift and clicking on the second. And then do a right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease or you can press F9. 
We can see on our motion path that the dots are very close together at the beginning, which means that it's moving slowly. They're further apart in the middle, which means that it's moving fast. And at the end, they're close together again, which means they're moving slowly. So it goes slow, speeds up in the middle, and then slows down again at the end. And that's what easy easing does. So let's do a RAM preview to take a look. Slow at the beginning, speeds up a bit, slows down again. So it's easing both of those keyframes. It's easing out of the first one, and it's easing into the second one. So that's what Easy Ease does. So you might be thinking, Andy, I can't really tell the difference between all of these. What's the point? Well, let's take a look at all of them together and see what the difference is. So you can see I've labeled all of my fish animations. The top one is linear. The second one's Ease In. Third one's Ease Out. Bottom one is Easy Ease. So I'll just do a RAM preview. Each animation is five seconds long. They're both moving from left to right. They both arrive at the second point at exactly the same time, but the way they do that is completely different. The one at the top is moving at a uniform speed. The second one down, it's gradually slowing down as it moves into the second keyframe. The third one is speeding up as it moves out of the first keyframe. And on the fourth one, it starts off slow, speeds up, and then slows down again. So that's easing. Have a go yourself, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Next up, why not take a look at my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find out more about my self-published books, the Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book, and the Hexjibber Anti-Revision Book. They're both suitable for kids and adults alike, and are well worth checking out.